This is Sam Roberts of the New York Times. The Bowery in Lower Manhattan is one of New York City's oldest addresses. Two centuries of history hide beneath the facades of nearly 200 buildings lining the one-and-a-quarter-mile thoroughfare. That history now being recognized as the Bowery has just been listed on the National Register of Historic Places. We toured the Bowery with Kerry Colhane, an architectural historian whose report led to the designation. Among the dozen sites already landmarked is the John Mooney House at number 18. Built for a butcher around 1785, it's considered the city's oldest existing brick row house. Um, from the facade, you can really look closely at the brickwork, and it's laid in what's called the Flemish Bond. It's an alternating row of header and stretcher bricks, so you'll see like a little square brick and then the length of a brick. So the stretcher, the larger bricks, right. and then the smaller ones are bricks that header. are, uh, and they are put... Uh, in, in, yes, so they're perpendicular to this. And that anchors, and that the, brick anchors wall. the brick to the, the corsets behind it. So they're actually the same size bricks, they're just laid alternate. Buried under signage, number 40 now houses a Chinese restaurant and a beauty salon. In 1857, this was the site of a bloody riot between two local gangs, the immigrant dead rabbits and the nativist Bowery Boys. The Who won? I don't, I don't think anybody won. There are a lot of busted heads. We're still though. fighting it out. <laughs> yes. A few doors north is home to another Chinese restaurant, but in the 1700s, this was the site of the Bull's Head Tavern. George Washington paused for a refreshment here on his triumphal return to the city in 1783 after the Revolutionary War. One thing that shows us that the Bowery has always been going through various stages of evolution. It's never really been static or constant. Absolutely, and I think that's reflected in the architecture, which is so diverse. Uh, which is what is so interesting about the Bowery is that it really is an architectural catalog from 1780 to present. At the corner of Broom Street and Bowery, a four-story building is described as the oldest continuously operated hotel in New York. It opened as early as 1805, was also home to Big Tim Sullivan, the Tammany Hall political boss. Is there anything that you can look at in this building and say, yes, I can recognize that from certainly the 19th century? The, the form of the building, it's really the shape of this building gives you the idea that this is, there's something old under there. So you're down in South Street Seaport and you see yeah. these uh, stone posts and lintels. This is, a, this is sort of one of the few vestiges that you can see from outside. So many circles. Theodore Roosevelt memorably summed it up this way a century ago. What infinite use Dante would have made of the Bowery. Sunday blues,